Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. And today it's a very special free-for-all from Patch 319 from Home Story Cup with eight players you know and love here on Lava Flow. All right, we're going to have to get this started very, very fast. In the bottom of the map, we have the orange Protoss player named Patience from Dead Pixels. His next-door neighbor to the right, the red Zerg player Elazer from Q-Lash. Heading up the other side, on the right side of the map, we have the pink Protoss player, Stats! Ah, oh, Stats is here! His neighbor to the left is the green Protoss player, Neeb, from Ting. Just north of him, I mean, this is crowded, you guys, is the blue Protoss player, Sock. To his left is the yellow Protoss player, Fear, from Dead Pixels. Down south, quite a ways, is Demuslim, the purple Terran player. And then we've got the other blue Protoss player, Petit Drogo, from My Insanity. Holy smokes, you guys! This is amazing! I didn't, I didn't know this game was actually played. Somebody in the comments in one of my videos said, Hey, will you cast that giant free-for-all from Home Story Cup? And I said, Wait, what? There was a giant free-for-all? How do I get this? Ah! And then I figured it out. He's cannon rushing. Fears, fears trying to make Sock think he's cannon rushing. He's throwing up a pylon in his base. But he's not, because he doesn't have a forge. He's just getting a gateway back home. But if it forces a response here from Sock, that's not bad. Oh, look at him not be fooled, though. He's just sending a single... Okay, two probes around to try to kill this guy. But, I mean, at this point, he'd probably have tossed a cannon if he had one. Yeah, I think I think he didn't fall for it at all. All right, so free-for-all rules means hope you don't get ganged up on by two people. Hope you don't have an extra neighbor that's super aggressive while you try to macro up. Oh my goodness gracious, the Muslim's expanding to the gold. He went one gate expand to this gold base on the right. This is really far away. If this gets scattered, I think it's just going to die. Oh my gosh, this game. The laser went pool first. He also has an evolution chamber. Is he trying? Okay, he's going to exp uh, expand here a little bit later than you would expect. Is he the only Zerg player in this game? I think he is. I think he's the only Zerg player in this game. Hmm. Shield battery coming up for here from Fear. Fear's throwing down a forward pylon at Sock's front here. He wants to kill Sock real bad. I mean, I guess he's your neighbor. That's generally how this works. Some scouting going on from Petit Drogo over here at Patience's base. Doesn't see anything too crazy. Just a single stalker on the way for Patience. Nobody being too aggressive except for this dude. Oh, he's going double forward shield battery. Fear is on Sock's front. Holy schmoly. He's trying to go ahead and get rid of this pylon that will depower the gateway at the front for Sock. This is fantastic. Out of fear. Oh, this game is really fun. Your laser throws out the... Huh? Oh, is that a planetary fortress rush? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, no. The Muslim forced to lift off his command center here at the gold. He's going to try to float it down here and expand it to laser's side of things. But no, not allowed to happen here. The pylon does go down. Oh, it does depower the gateway of Socks here. Socks in a lot of trouble. Super amount of trouble. Get out, says <laughs> laser. I have bases here. Meanwhile, stalkers from Petit Drogo harassing Patience's front door, but he's got two stalkers to handle it. There is so much action. Forced to pull his own probes is Sock to deal with this harassment at his front door. Double shield battery. Amazing right now. For Fear, I am loving it so much. Another stalker shows up for Fear. Going extremely well. Petit Drogo shows up with additional stalkers. Four against two, but Patience does have a defensive shield battery of his own. Uh, Neeb has been essentially left alone so far, and he's okay. He's going to come into the backside to try to take out Fear's stuff while Fear's worrying about Sock up top. It's a sandwich. It is a Fear sandwich right now. Petit Drogo going to throw down probably a shield battery at the front here of Patience's as well, and he is so much shield battery. So this isn't 319. Why did it say it was 319? The client's messed up. StarCraft told me this was a 319 game, but it's 4-0. Oh, that's right, because it's test patch. Okay, so this is when it was test patch, but it 100% became the same balance changes we saw in 4-0. Uh, so this is a 4-0 game. It's not as old as 319. Regardless, oh, Petit Drogo showed up with an Immortal. Immortal and Stalker's here. Patience has no Immortals. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's getting a Dark Shrine. No, he has a Dark Shrine. What is happening? Is he sending Dark Templar out? I don't even know. All right, so things have calmed down a little bit here in Protoss Corner. Okay, there's, there's a lot of Protoss here, actually. Is it a DT? No, Hellions. The Muslim Hellions into Elazer's base. What does Elazer have? Elazer's been playing so greedy, you guys. Greedy, greedy Zerg player right now. Wow, just lost a few drones, but I think he's all right. He's on three base, while a lot of people really only have one. Petit Drogo says... Uh, patient, or patient says, Petit Drogo, don't kill me. Why are you recalling? And then he recalled to deal with 
a zealot, I guess. BM, I kill you. <laughs> Patience gets rid of the pile, empowering the two shield batteries at his front door. What is going on over here? Zealots wandering into Sock's main base. They are, yes, they're definitely fear zealots, but they are completely dead as well. It's time to go. Petit Drogo says no more no more mercy. Two kills on this immortal already. I mean, this one immortal alone is going to cause major problems. Meanwhile, the Muslim's running around with a mech army. He's got Hellions and Cyclones. He's going to kill this Overlord using the lock-on ability of Elazer's. But again, Elazer's been allowed to do whatever he wants at this point. He has 62 workers. The next closest person has 44, and most people are closer to 20. Yeah, Elazer's in a huge good spot, mostly because he's largely been left alone. Both shield batteries here for patience are destroyed. This immortal up only has two kills. Go away. <laughs> His patience. No, a laser says that. I let you get the island. Oh, no. The Muslim's going to kill a laser. <laughs> he, is he going to let him? No, he's not going to let him. Stats is blocking this with a DT. Stats has been very quiet. Actually, he's been mostly left alone. This is what FFA is, you guys. It's just if you get left alone or not. A laser's going to die to the Muslim here. This is amazing. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Or he's li he is airlifting drones out of here on a Sloverlord with drop. That's what he's doing. Is he going to make any units with which to defend? Production tab says four. He was infester rushing. He's got four infestors. All right. That's very, very interesting indeed. But he's going to lose everything else. Going to lose his infestation here, here eventually. His hydralisk den. Did he make any hydras? I don't know. I can't actually tell here. But we can check this out. Neeb's largely been left alone. Stats has been left alone, which is more scary. Oh, he's pushing on Sock. With two immortals and sentries and zealots versus a handful of stalkers. He's got this. Sock is dead. The Muslim's sad about something. What are you sad about, the Muslim? He's sad about killing a laser, I guess. Are you still pushing Petit Drogo? Petit Drogo's still pushing in here on Patience's base. There's two pylons powering all these gateways. Oh, but he has a defensive immortal of his own now. That's good. This guy only has four kills still. Doing extraordinarily well here. Fear was out. Oh, Fear's in. Maybe trying to push on Neeb, who actually has a mothership at this point in time. Somehow, Sock is going to die to stats. There's no stopping that. Even the teeniest or tiniest of bits. I mean, he's out. He's got a handful of stalkers. Keeps losing gateways. Keeps seeing gateways depowered. Oh, his zealots have charge. Do stats. Oh, boy. That's not great news. Petit Drogo trying to deal with these blue flame hellions with pretty good army, actually, of immortal stalker. Petit Drogo says, patience, we killed the Muslim, work together. Oh no, it's an ally, it's an alliance. Oh boy. Meanwhile, poor Sock, he's just been beset upon enemies this whole time. And he's going to be killed. That's going to be it here. Moving out with a carrier is Neeb. Handful of stalkers and a mothership. <laughs> Woo! It's going to be good. It's going to be excellent. And more, yeah, I mean, we're just watching stats wreck Sock right now. Sock's dead. Perhaps we should just leave him alone. Fear continues to push here on Neeb. He's got some disruptors, does Fear. Alright. Oh, catches a stalker. Free stalker's good. Another stalker. Oh! Missed. Yeah, this is... Yeah, socks out. This is not the version of the Purification Nova where it fires as soon as the center hits anything. You actually have to wait for it to finish. And then it actually ends up hitting. Oh, maybe not. I can't tell. Can't tell. Oh, there's so much talking. Oh, no, it is the kind. It is the version that automatically explodes upon contact with anything. Anyway, Stats is pushing here on Fear. Fear's in a hunk of trouble as well. No, he's getting force-fielded. Zealots right on top of his stalkers. Getting Okay, so Purification Nova doing okay, but four Immortals against a Protoss opponent. Pretty scary stuff here. The Muslim pushing in against Petit Droga with Blue Flame Hellions. Really good against Zealots. And actually pushing away the Protoss player here. Can we kill Petit Drogo? Dude, he has, like, way more. <laughs> is Neeb... Ah, oh, Neeb's pushing on Fear too. This is bad news. Zealot warping stats on top of Neeb stuff. But Carrier's pretty good against Zealots. Even watch Game of Thrones. This is basic stuff. <laughs> Petit Drogo. Yes, Game of Thrones reference says. Yes. All right, so a laser's alive. He's still... Oh, he ex this is an island. I didn't realize this was an island. All right, so this is an island. Laser has a million spore crawlers up defending and then infestors to defend with. So he's on two base, which is good. Stats is worked. He's got his third base up here. Blue Flame Hellions running into Petit Drogo's base from the Muslim. 
the only Terran player? Yeah, man. There's a lot of Protoss here today. The Blue Flame on the workers. Get out! Get out, workers. Ooh, ooh, oh, goodness gracious. Neeb wandering on over to the Muslim's main base with a couple carriers. No! I'm one versus three. Neeb, get out! Oh, Neeb says, okay. Wow, look at him. He's getting out. Thanks, Neeb. Says the Muslim. <laughs> Stop killing me, the Muslim, says Petit Trigo. Maybe I can help. Yeah, this is betrayal. This is all this is. Burrow and Fester hit squad. These ca guys can cast Burrow Fungal. Yikes, as this is 4 0. Oh, but the tanks and the missile turrets are ready for this Burrow and Fester stuff. Get out of there, laser. Get out, is what I have to say about it. Purification Nova trying to kill this Stargate, which, all right, I guess. That's fine. Fear moving up this ramp against Neeb as he was away from home, but no, he loses his Stargate before the carriers can respond. What is happening right here? Yeah. The Muslim sieging up. Patience. Patience is on one base. He's in a whole lot of trouble. Recalling home is fear. To his to his natural base, it looks like a bit of an... Oh, there's a bit of a run by here into Petit Drogo's base, but he managed to handle that pretty well. The laser re-expanding inside his own main, which is nice. Patience? No. But who's here? Oh, the mech! The mech! Of the Muslim is here. I don't know that patience can live. No. No. The Muslim. I'm buying a kebab to anyone killing patience right now. <laughs> Says Petit Troco. Ah, Woohoo. Kebab. Says the Muslim. This is fantastic. More pro-level uh, uh, FFAs. Seriously. Where, where is patience? Says Neeb. Seven. Yeah, he's at the seven o'clock position. Seven, please. Come help me. He, come help me. He is so completely dead. Small PvP skirmish up here between Stats and Fear at the north section of the map. Who's taking this base? Of course Stats has taken the old base where Sock used to be. He's on four bases right now. I think Stats might have this. If a laser doesn't, uh, doesn't have a rough time. Oh, the infested Terran pop, though. The Muslim was trying to expand inside a laser's old base. Look at the anti-air. Oh, it used to be green. <laughs> Completely gone. And Patience is out. Patience is mad. Sock and Patience are dead and have left the game. Carrier group getting bigger all the time for Nii. Pushing it onto Muslim's main base. That's the sound that carriers make. They sound like old-timey fighter jets from World War II. I don't know why. Uh, but it's totally the case here. Carriers are out for stats as well. But against the stalker group of fears. Any upgrades at all? We could see the upgrades. Neural Parasite's done for a laser, which is pretty nice stuff. Graviton catapult up for both of our carrier players, obviously. Plus two ground weapons for stats as well. And Neeb also has plus two air weapons. A lot of upgrades. If you want to see them, they were there. You can pause the video and check them out. But, I mean, no one's maxed out on upgrades at this point. So, a laser has retaken his main base. He is also set up in, looks like this natural base where Patience was. Yeah, that's his natural. Sort of. Maybe a third baser. The Muslim has, take patient, has taken Patient's main base. So the Muslim is sitting on three total bases. Oh, attacking into the Protoss. Stats is getting visited by carriers from Neeb. Oh, he's stopping the production of carriers by getting rid of the pylons that were powering them. Immediately getting replanted because Stats is good at this game. Flying into the natural base, doing the same thing. No more carriers for you, he says. Bam, depowered. Oh, one carrier comes out. And it's going to be a straight up battle here. Mothership and carriers versus carriers. Mothership goes down for stats here. Can Neeb win this engagement? It is going to be my question right now. And the answer is it looks like Neeb's going to win this thing. Only two carriers remaining for stats, and he's forced to flee. Another carrier goes down. Shield Battery is trying to heal it up, doing okay. But no longer pursued, and Neeb now has free reign on the main base of stats. Neeb is going to take down stats. I'm uh, sorry, says stats. What are you sorry about? You just got your butt kicked. Please. Oh, he wants to live. He wants to live. Oh, Neeb brings five more carriers to the party. Neeb's doing all right. Neeb's doing okay. 162 supply. Next closest person is 133 with the Muslim. Sitting at 116 is a laser. Everybody else under triple digits as far as that supply goes. Stalkers for fear showing up at a laser's <laughs> attempt at establishing at this third base of patience at the 6 o'clock position. Get out of here. Get out of here, he says. Stats is begging for his life. Stats says, please, no. Please don't murder me. Oh, absolutely can. And, oh, the Stalkers recall home after killing this base. All right, still on three bases is Laser. Taking this gold base up north from his island expansion that uh, the Muslim was trying to take earlier, but it's his now. Apparently, Neeb says die. Wow, Neeb is bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty right now. Jeez, 
All right, I think other battles going on. This is whew, this is an intense experience. I'm actually having a great time though. I hope you're enjoying yourself as well, because boy howdy, boy howdy, this is a fantastic free for all. More of these, more of these. Fear attacking into Neeb's base with a bunch of stalkers who have the plus one attack and some disruptors here, but coming from the backside. Oh, Skytaw's army, runaway stalkers, not enough. Not enough to deal with how many carriers is this? 11, 11 carriers with great upgrades. Oh, a laser, this is third base. Retaking his main is not going very well. Oh wait, the infested Terran pop with the fungal. Neural Parasite on some of these guys. Get out of there, Hellions, run. Yeah, fear leaves the game. And the Muslims Hellions get cleaned up. All right, that was okay. He managed to save his base. That's wonderful. So yeah, fear's out because Neeb was wrecking him. But he left stats alone. He did leave stats alone. Stats is, of course, re-expanding to that third base location because that's what you do if you're a great player is just re-expand, rebuild your stuff that dies immediately. And it might go well for you. North. To the north. Petit Drogo's expanding to his fourth base location. He's doing all right. He's mostly sitting on Gateway and Immortal, though. Gateway Immortal with a bunch of High Templar. Interesting. Perhaps for Storm. He is making a couple Archons, though, but keeping several, uh, several other Archons in non-that format. Again, trying to expand at this third base of Patience is by a laser. Does not go well. This mech army from the Muslim is serious business. Oh, Neeb came back. Neeb came back. To take out stats stuff. Goodbye, all of stats stuff. And oh, stats left to deal with a laser. Yeah, this gold base is really hard to hold on this map, as it turns out. It's just way out in the open. Yeah, but stats main base is wrecked. Absolutely 100% wrecked here. Laser gonna lose, but so this is a lot of spore crawlers, you guys. Uh, how many spores is that? 52. The Muslim has 52 spore crawlers. And just Mass Infester, he's trolling so hard right now. He's trying to win this thing with Mass Infester. He has 43 Infestors, 5 Drop Lords, 34 Drones, 2 Queens, and that's it. That's it. That is the Laser's Army right now. That is absolutely hilarious. All right, the Muslim trying to use his ranged attack. Single target attack here against Stats Carriers. Nope, get out. Stats says, I'm sorry, I won't kill your stuff. Don't worry about it, as he's killing the Muslim stuff in his main instead, which is kind of hilarious here. Neeb. Here comes the Neeb heading on down south. Says there's an extractor here. Where? Oh, wait, what? There was a base here. Where did it go? We're going to kill these eggs that are trying to build some drones. Really hard to kill eggs with fast attacking units because the armor comes into play, but you got them. You have a lot of carriers, dude. 15 carriers in this group alone for Neeb. Is he making more? Yeah. He's producing. Actually, he's producing four uh, Tempest at a time. All right can live with that. Who's back to kill this base again? The laser, his hope springs eternal. He really wants to take this third base of patiences, but the Muslim says no. Ah, Petit Rogo. Bam! Losing it. Oh, carrier group from Neeb just flying through the Muslim's main. Do 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 taking a gentle stroll. If you kill a laser, says Neeb. I won't, says the Muslim. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Good storms here from Petit Rogo's army, but this is just too many carriers. This is way too many carriers. I don't know what can handle this, except for Mass Neural Parasite. Maybe the Thor's coming from the other side, doing that single target attack. BM. BM to Muslim. Oh, from the north side. Stats is getting rid of Petit Drogo as well. How did Stats' carrier army get here? Petit Drogo is being beset by two separate carrier armies. Two separate carrier groups. Neb, I let you live. You were in my base, says the Muslim. We're playing to last man standing, says the laser. Yeah. I feel as though we are. This is chaos. This is ridiculous amounts of chaos. All of the attacks are in the southern section of the map right now. Stats still has a base. Unless you think Stats is dead. Don't put, don't count him out yet. That's all I'm going to say. Petit Drogo appears to be mostly dead, though. Uh, he's going to lose his final Nexus, which is really bad news here. Neeb attacking into the Muslim. Oh no, the Muslim stuff. And then going away. Neeb out. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean to murder all of your things here. Neeb loses his last. Nexus is going to be revealed. Right about now. Is Neeb going to attack stats? It looks like he's heading that way. Looks like he's heading that way, but obviously it's the same move speed. Oh, don't attack into this. Stats. W oh, the recall home. Loses a carrier. Loses a carrier. 
Somehow Petit Drogo has Stalkers out. Where did these guys come from? I don't know, but they're harassing one of Neeb's only mining bases right now. That's hilarious. Petit Drogo losing some more stuff. Kind of. Well, getting attacked anyway. Oh, okay. So Neeb has a Warp Prism flying around. Just doing silly type things. Stalkers by Petit Drogo do have the plus two with plus two shields as well. Plus two attack and plus two shields. The Muslim wants to expand. The Muslim wants to get his fifth base up, man. He's feeling it. He's feeling fifth base action. He wants to be the only Terran representative and the only winner here. Neeb's forced to defend against these Stalkers with Tempest. Not your greatest decision. I'd say Stalkers are pretty good against Tempest, especially since their range for ground is not that good. Uh, it's only a range of 10. I mean, okay, range of 10 seems like a lot, but compared to 15, not all that much. He's going to attack. Fear's dead. Fear's out. I guess somebody could take this base and go for the gold if you wanted here. Stats apologizes for what? Oh, did he lose his whole army? Hold on. Is that it? Was that the whole army of stats? No. He lost him at some point. I guess heading down from the north. I don't know. I missed it. I was really busy paying attention to these stalkers that's weird huh all right so who's gonna who's trying to expand here of course stats is stats is gonna take this gold base that's along the right side whereas neve has a base here stats is getting rid of has an oracle out you guys he's got an oracle out at the 20 minute mark oh that's what he's apologizing for sorry for killing all your stuff neve <laughs> i'm gonna kill you now oracle can't get in oh it's gonna be viper Viper Infester can't get into this little stronghold of the lasers because there are so many spore crawlers. I mean, I don't even know. How do you get through this? Tempest, I guess. Gonna have to be one of these Protoss players is gonna have to go all Tempesty. I don't know how a Terran breaks this that easily. Um, nukes, maybe? Can you nuke from there? Set up a little staging ground? Nuke from possibly. He could maybe set up a staging ground. If he did some nuking here. I forgot to mention Neeb took these bases in the top left a while ago. As <laughs> they're already mined out. So Neeb's doing okay. Those of you rooting for Neeb can feel pretty good about that. The Muslim having a great time. Infested Terran. Zero to Muslim's fifth base. He only had it for a few seconds, dude. Run. Trying to stutter step and get this thing. But the fly speed is 131 for the command center. And move speed is 131 for the infested Terrans. So it can escape. Ta-da. Learn something new every day. Who's killing the rest of Fierce stuff here? It looks like a combined effort. Oh, Neeb. Neeb's Tempests and Neeb's Carriers as well. Single Neeb Sentries trying to get rid of the rest of Petit Drogo's stuff, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Oh, it's going to be Oracle versus Sentry. Wow, Oracle won that one handily. I, I don't know what I expected. Oracle's just flying around for Neeb, killing stalkers, killing stuff, killing things you don't usually see them. Kill. The Muslim has fully upgraded siege tanks and fully upgraded Thors and fully upgraded Helliums. Actually, does he have any of those? I can't tell. Oh, yes, I can. He's got five Helliums somewhere. I'm going to be honest. I don't know exactly where. Wow. Ben. That's a laser he's talking to. Is that his real name? Spoilers. Spoilers and doxing and stuff. The Muslim finally getting high sec auto tracking, which he probably should have gotten a while ago, but that's just fine. He's had a little bit of time to think right now. Petit Drogo has two stalkers with which he's trying to win this game. Can he get this War Prism? He does have the plus two attack, and they do more damage on first attack. Ooh, but away. But away. War Prism does manage to escape here. Stats throwing up a command center over here at, oh, Fear's old gold base. I like it, but someone just pinged it. Tanks can hit some of these. Some of these spore crawlers, right? <laughs> Stat says I want second place. <laughs> He's bargaining. With what? With what are you bargaining? Sixth base up for the Muslim. His empire is growing. Neeb is taking this gold base along the right side. Stats has his base. He's trying to take along this right side here too. I mean, this is scrappy. Super mega scrappy FFA type scrappy stuff. I am so glad that subscriber told me to cast this game because it is a great time. It is a wonderful, joyous time. Neeb coming in. Uh-oh. Stat. How does stats have a mothership? Where did this come from? 
Oh, it's the one carrier and mothership that's been hanging around forever here. I guess who shows up? The Golden Armada of Neeb. Get out of here, fierce stuff. No one likes your style. I don't want to take this base. And he does. And all of his people are dead, too. But then he discovers that Stats has a sneaky base here, and he's going to murder it. Yeah, Stats is going to be revealed. Is this Stats' final building? Uh, no. He's got an assimilator and a pylon and another pylon up in the north. But he's going to be revealed is the issue here. Also, can he see this? Oh, he does! Oh, no! Final carrier! Dies before it can recall! Oh, no! Where did it recall? Wait, if you don't have... A command center, where is... Did that thing just die? Hold up. He cast recall from something. How? He doesn't have a, com a nexus. Oh, wait. He did. Okay, right there. He did, but it's gone now. He doesn't have any. Hacks! Where do these guys go? Oh, the mothership recalled them. Okay, good. Wow, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I forgot the mothership was still alive. Building a new nexus down here. We've got tanks still trying to destroy these spore crawlers. It's just... I mean, there's a tiny bit of a staging landing area right there, but it's not great. Not great, is what I'm saying here. The remainder of Petit Drogo stuff. Don't do it, Neeb! Says Petit Drogo. Let me stick around. Neeb says fine. Fine. I won't kill all of you. I'll leave this single gateway behind with 147 hit points. So you can live. Big attack of Neeb into the Muslims' main base here. Are we gonna. We're gonna see a big battle here with Thor's. With Thor's against these carriers. Got the Tempest as well. This is absolutely nuts what we're seeing here. <laughs> wow I don't even know who's going to win this thing looks like the carriers are doing pretty well for themselves but the Thors that are fully upgraded just absolutely doing tons of damage to them Mothership says Stats why are you saying Mothership oh Mothership is strong says Stats alright so that battle's done we're back. We're back with all the information here. Production tab as well. And yeah, Neeb wins it. All that's left are a few tanks here for the Muslim, which are horrendously bad. Oh, hey, what a... Oh no, Petit Drogo stalkers! <laughs> Wrong neighborhood, boys! Bam! Elazer says, you come in peace. You come in peace. You should have said that. <laughs> See, Laser, before you jumped in. That's true, man. That's very true. A laser is just turtling. He's just trying to come in, he says, whoever you are. I have 42 infestors. 42 infestors. Uh, what would two stalkers ever do to you, says Petit Drogo? They got buffed, but still. But still, oh, this mothership doesn't want to get too close. You get neuroparasited and dropped into these spore crawlers, you're gonna die. But Teacher goes out. He didn't. He had nothing else to do. He only had this one super injured gateway to pay attention to. Zealots from Neeb, Neeb zealots here to Muslims. New base of operations in the south as his main base got ravaged. I think Neeb has this thing, you guys. Neeb has a real big scary army. He's got seven carriers, four tempest. Versus eight tanks and two Hellions for the Muslim. That's not good. It's going to come down to Neeb versus Elazer. And I think I got my money. Where do you put your money on this? Okay, so the thing is, Neeb can kind of sit back and harvest. There's essentially an untouched gold... couple gold bases that are untouched right now. So if he just gets up a giant army with a giant bank and attacks in with Tempest... Uh, the Vipers can abduct, though. He's trying to abduct things that get close enough into a spore crawlers and kill them that way. It's not a bad strategy if you're just trying to hold out on an island and just hope that Neeb throws himself against you until he runs out of money, but then it kind of turns into a stalemate type situation. I don't know, nine Tempest at a time. 
from Neeb, the last hold of the Muslim. Couple missile turrets, not gonna be enough to hold this off. Absolutely not. Four of them. Time warp is up. I don't think anything's trying to move inside that time warp, but okay, doke. I guess the Thor. Oh, there are a bunch of Thors. Where did these guys come from? From the Muslim. Don't know. But fully upgraded Sky Toss is pretty scary. Stats is throwing out a sorry. What are you doing now, Stats? Oh, he has a new base. <laughs> He's got a new base. Uh, where Neeb's trying to expand too. That's funny. Laser's got to be so bored. He's just like, mm -hmm, just patrolling back and forth, building as many spore crawlers as I can. He's down to two minerals, though. That's not good. Uh, his income is zero. Okay, fair enough. He's just repositioning, it looks like, what he's doing with those guys. All right. It's all quiet on the western front. This final base of stats needs to die. Neeb, exp er, yep, Neeb expanding everywhere, currently making five nexuses at stats old base, his natural base, his third base, at patient, no, at socks. Is this socks main? At socks main. Oof. Also, the skull base along the left side, also at where Petit Drogo was trying to get his fourth base. Also, the natural base of Petit Drogo. Yeah, he knows what's up. He knows what he's doing here. Now, the question is for a laser. Can, right? Can Neeb and a Muslim take out a laser or take out each other? What is this? Let's kill a laser. I'll let you survive, says Neeb. You wanna? Says the Muslim. Alright, I don't know how though. I don't know what these Thors are gonna do against this. Is that a no? Sure, let's get a laser, says the Muslim. I need an expo though, says the Muslim. He does have enough money for it to get some drop ships in it. Hmm. An alliance between France and England against Poland. Very interesting. Very interesting alliance indeed. Alright, says Neeb. You can have this garbage base, I guess. This base that is largely mined out. That was Petit Drogas at some point. Oh, careful. Careful. Accidental skirmish there. Wars have been started over accidental skirmishes before. Yeah, Neeb knows there's a base here for stats, but he's allowing it to happen for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, maybe out of respect for a fellow Protoss player. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. This gold base is mined out. This base, oh, there it is. Neeb's taking everything except for one. There's one base that's left, and that's because Command Center's flying over there for the Muslim. Right. Oracle for stats swinging around this backside. Can it find somewhere to go is the question. Someone to kill. Maybe do some damage against a Muslim while he's here. What the? How did stats get a pylon on a laser's island? What on earth? And then the laser didn't kill it. Where are you going, dude? Hmm. He let it live. Let stats pylon live for some reason. I don't know exactly why. Yeah, the Muslim wants to expand again. Neep says, no, I've taken all of those. All of these bases are mine. Stats comes back and wins this thing somehow on the good graces of Neve. I'm going to be surprised. Absolutely shocked. All right. Tempest against Spore Crawler. One at a time. Ooh. Is that a care? Interceptor must have accidentally slipped in there. Because <laughs> the Spore Crawlers murdered it so fast. Yeah. I think Interceptors keep coming in and just getting destroyed. You can't lose Interceptors here. There's a finite number of resources on this map. I know you're feeling pretty good. Abducting one of the Tempest. Dead. That's all you need to do. Another abduct? Dead. I mean, these are some good trades. Yeah, you're going to lose a couple. You're going to kill a couple of my spores, but also you're going to be abducted. And then get murdered. A whole Tempest is very expensive. There's another one. There's another one. Got some overlords in here just to mess up the targeting. Oh, Neural Parasite on the Tempest. Tempest versus Tempest action with some Infestitarians on the ground as well here. This is amazing stuff out of the laser. Just absolutely wrecking the Sky Toss army. A couple of them do manage to get out. To, oh, but two more getting sucked back in. Tempest versus Tempest action. And I think the two Tempests that aren't brain controlled, mind controlled. Oh, we'll get out of there. Get out of there. I'm trying to get some hits off on the Mothership Core, but I don't think there's enough time necessarily that was amazing that was some great play 
out of the laser. And now they're dead. No, he keeps he's just chain neural parasiting them. Trying to kill cannons, trying to kill that mothership. Carrier. And Tempest does end up going down. Other, another neural parasite, parasited carrier going down here. What's attacking? Hellion's getting rid of Neeb's base. Dude, the Muslim, don't bite the hand that's feeding you right now. Come on. We're supposed to be a team. There are some probes that they killed too. Ugh, horrible. Horrible activity. Neep continuing to bring Tempest in though. Dun, 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 dun. Bringing in the Tempest. The fully upgraded Tempest, mind you. How are we doing on this? 198, maxed out army for the Muslim, maxed out army for Neeb. 80 supply out of 148 for a laser, but he has the right the right crazy composition where this might actually kind of work. Revelation on the spores. Oh, interesting. He's pulling the spores back. Okay, so that these guys actually have to come over land a little bit. So that Neeb actually has to come over land and in range of the burrow tank. Oh, but that leaves some range for the tanks. The drops! The drops from the Muslim infested Terrans on top of everything right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Are the tanks all going to die? The tanks are all going to die. An infested Terran. Also, the anti-air getting rid of a medevac as it's trying to fly away. Oh, that's amazing. Blue Flame Hellion still trying to kill his Nexus. It's kind of annoying. Tempest getting rid of infested Terrans, which is free stuff, right? Just free stuff. A lot of interceptors might... I mean, gonna go down here. You can see them falling into the lava below. Really bad things here. What is attacking up here right now? I don't know. Stats is Oracle. Still flying around trying to do stuff. Long distance mining here. Neeb is <laughs> just messing around. I feel like Neeb's just kind of messing around. But, man. Resources lost here. 32,500 for Neeb. 30,000 for Petit Drogo. 28 for... Uh, sorry. 28... Oh, for stats. 32 for stats, 28 for Neeb, and 34 for the Muslim as far as resources lost. It is a big, big time number. Ghost Academy for the Muslim. All right. Oh, good. These guys transferred or transformed into Hellbats to get rid of this Nexus that Neeb's apparently letting him take. Got like 10 infestors, Neeb. Stop, being, stop scanning and just come here, says Elazer. But it cost me, says the Muslim. Yeah, it costed him some stuff. Awesome, some stuff down to 184 supply. He's okay. The Muslim's gonna be just fine. Just fine. Oracle for stats, still flying around, still has this base mining. Oh shoot, is Neeb gonna put the hammer down? Neeb's gonna put an end to this. Sent a single carrier up to get rid of stats things. Another revelation. More creep spread attempted. Stats with sorry again. It's very sorry today. So many dead inter- Are any of these gonna go home? No, none of the interceptors go home. The carriers are just being proven useless right now. Income looking okay. Wow. How does fear have income? That looks that looks broken. Oh, the neurals though. The neurals. Yeah, so much stuff happening right now. Infested Terrans on the ground, trying to kill interceptors, but it's not exactly what they're supposed to be doing. If you're gonna neural these units, you have to actually kill them, but they don't have the whole group. They're absolutely destroying infestors on the ground right now. Another neural carrier doesn't have any interceptors with which to make this happen. Suddenly, what's left here? A laser colon. I give up. Pushing down into a laser's forest of spore crawlers. Leave me alone, he says. I give up. <laughs> Losing some stuff anyway, though. Again, these spore crawlers are taking interceptors. That's that's a problem. Can't just be losing interceptors, but oh, mothership core. Oh, mothership goes down. I'm just here to protect stats. Last pylon says the laser. That's hilarious. Mission failed. <laughs> they were teaming up. Infested Terrans, get out of there, Neeb, run! And he does. He successfully runs. Infested Terrans have nowhere to go. Fully upgraded Infested Terrans, mind you. Uh, in patch 4.0, doing nine damage per shot, which I think was buffed. Wasn't that buffed? In the latest patch, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps it was. The stats has another base, you guys. Stats will not die. He refuses to die. So many units. So stat, did he lose his oracle? I think he lost his oracle. Stats is sitting on a mothership. Where the heck is your mothership? Oh, it's hiding down here in the bottom right. That's hilarious. Here it is. Terran versus Protoss. Lot of Vikings out here too. I like this composition out of the Muslim. A nuke! 
Nuke being thrown down on this pylon and these cannons. Is it going to land? I feel like it's absolutely... No, it doesn't, can it doesn't land. It gets cancelled as the ghost is destroyed. It's going to be Revelated Thors against Tempest and Carrier. This is so many Thors. I thought the nuke is on my base as a laser. No. No, it was not. Still making more stuff, though, is Neve. I think that's why he has a pretty good chance here. Pretty good chance to make something happen. Yeah, it's just Mass Thor versus Tempest and Carrier using their single target anti-air attack. It's 50 plus damage. No, it's not. It's... Uh... Yeah, 65 damage versus armored stuff, which is what this is. All of this stuff of Neves is definitely armored. <sighs> this game is crazy pants. What are we at? We're at 39 minutes right now. This is a good Sunday cast. Good Sunday cast. 100% acceptable. The Muslim mining from this gold base along the left side that Neeb has while they're fighting. I don't know. There are so many Tempests. This new reinforcing group. And a Muslim's outnumbered, outgunned, taps out with a good game and is gone. The Muslim is gone. I think Neeb has it. I think Neeb has it. The Muslim's out of money. The Muslim's left the game, obviously. <laughs> uh, the Infestors are playing Ring Around the Hive. For <laughs> laser right now. <laughs> Zealot of Neebs going after stats. Final command center stats. What do you have? What are you doing on the monies? You don't have any. You have a hundred minerals left. You're dead. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can you get rid of a laser? It is the question of the day. Killing all of the Muslim stuff, but the bases. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's nothing to mine from here. There's no reason to clear out the Muslim stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, Stats lost his mothership. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, he tried to recall to his Nexus. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> his probes run for their lives. Continuing to assault with Mothership. With Tempest. On a laser stuff. Also... Basically wasting attacks on the Muslim stuff over here, too. Good game, says a laser. Let stats live. And a laser's out. A laser is done. And Neeb. Neeb is your ultimate champion. No, Neeb left and let stats win. <laughs> That's funny. Stats is victorious. At the end of the game, having two probes. And two pylons and an assimilator, but Neeb. Neeb is your ultimate winner, ladies and gentlemen. What a super fun free-for-all. Just insanity from the beginning to the end. Laser, try and play silly. Go in Sky Toss is Neeb for the ultimate win in a game that had six Protoss players in it. Seven. Nope, six. Six Protoss players in it, a Terran and a Zerg. Resources lost. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap for Neeb. 35,000 resources lost, which is third most of anybody. The Muslim lost 48. That's a lot of dead Thors. Uh, Neeb lost 42. All oh, right, stats lost 35. So stats second most. Yeah, I got to lose stuff to win stuff, as it turns out. Stats with the 35,000 resources lost. And Petit Drogo with 30. Yeah, a laser actually 26. I guess which is lower than anybody who didn't die fairly soon. Sock died soon. Patience died soon. Fear died soon. Yeah, not not too 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 surprising there. Oh, take a deep breath. All right, so that's gonna be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.